Hi and welcome to Toya Creates. My name is Toya Edit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this an interesting looking uh, shadow effect in InDesign. This tutorial has been inspired by a question from Ray VGM. Shout out Ray VGM. Uh, thank you for subscribing and thank you for asking this question. So uh, that being said, let's dive in and see how we can easily create this in InDesign. So for the first example, we have this um, screenshot that was sent in by Ray VGM. So I'm going to first of all create a, a box just to serve as um, the area where the shadow will sit on. So let me give this a color. I'll give it a yellow and I'll use um, I'll change it to 30% uh, tint. And um, what I'm going to do is that if you look at this, the profile of this shadow is that we have this area and this area and it's very, very easy to create. So first of all, I'll pick my pen tool and I'm just going to click in this area, hold down my shift just to draw, still holding down my shift to draw down here. Then we'll go across to close up that area. So I'm going to change this to white. And the beauty about this is that since this is just a shape, I can actually extend it to whatever size I want. So let me zoom in so that we see exactly what we are doing. So once that has been done, I go to my effects panel. I click on the effects, click on drop shadow. And once the drop shadow has uh, been applied, I go to positioning. I want to make this zero and I want to um, maybe change this to 50 or 60. 5%. This is not fixed. You can always come back and change these parameters. So um, for the options, I want to increase the size to about three. Then I want to add some noise because shadows are not always uh, so clean. They always have some certain uh, dust looking elements. So the important thing you need to note, take note of this area. Objects knocks out shadow. So I make sure this is unchecked. Then I click OK. So the next thing, this is still highlighting the object. I go to the drop down and apply multiply and it knocks that out. So you see that the shadow is already there. I send it to the back. I press my control shift and bracket this bracket and I it is sent to the back. So let me zoom out. I hold down my alt and zoom out. Let me drag this so that we see what we're doing. So as you can see, we already have the, the basic profile. But what happens there is that you see that this place gradually fades into the back. Same thing for up. So I, I select that. I go to my um, direct selection tool and I select this. I just click on one of those points and drag it. Click on the second point. I can drag it in. And you see that we already have a shadow. You know, since this is a, a shape, still a, a live shape, I can always extend it upwards or downwards. And we have that shadow already applied. So what I do is that to have the second one is as easy as going to copy and paste Control C and Control V to paste it. I move it down there and I flip horizontal and vertical. And I position it the way I want it to and I send it to the back so I can keep adjusting it till I'm satisfied. I'll just um, click on that. Click on that. Now I can click on this edge and bring it in a bit. So it all depends on what you are trying to achieve. So as easy as that, we already have our shadow created. We can go in and select it to, I can reduce the opacity or I can increase the opacity. I can double click on the effect to bring back the dialog box. I can change the direction. I can increase the opacity right from here or I reduce it. It all depends on the effects you are going for. I can increase the size. I can reduce the size and that has been done as easy as that. So we'll go on to create the second one. We will go on to create the second one. So let me move out this one. And let me copy this um, shape once again, Control C, Control V to paste. So to achieve this other one, let me take this out and bring this in here. Let me zoom in. 
So to achieve this one is basically uh, the same concept. So I just go and pick my pen tool. Or I can draw using um, the rectangle tool. I can just click and draw over this area. If I'm okay with that, I can change this to um, white. I can send it to the back. So once that has been done, I, I go to my pen tool, I just create a point here. Just add a point. I click and hold and click my convert direction, uh, convert direction point two. So what I just do is that I just click and drag so that it forms um, a curve for me. I can go back to the direction, uh, direct selection and just pull it up. Just pull this just to have uh, the effect I'm trying to go for. Direct selection, click on it. Can bring this in, bring this in. Can pull this out a little bit more if I'm not satisfied. Can bring this in a little bit also. Same for the right side. So once I'm okay with that, I can move this in just a little bit and I perform that operation once again I go to uh, the effects drop shadow I change this to zero uh, I can leave this at 75 make sure this is um, unchecked increase this to three or let in this example I'll make it four and increase the noise I can make that three and I click OK so this is still selected I go and click on multiply and I have that shadow effect so I press my W to to hide um, to show my screen in presentation mode so I can keep adjusting this till I am satisfied with what I want to accomplish with the shadow so I can bring this in and as easy as that we've created this same effect so what i'll do next i'll just like we did in the first one ctrl c ctrl v to paste and i go and flip horizontal and i send it to the back adjust it i can drag this in here and you see that we have that same effect right here so I'll select this Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and to make a copy, I just shift it out of the um, work area and put it on the pasteboard and group. So let me show you the last one, like a bonus for this. Let me delete this portion. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll go to my pen tool. I'll pick my pen tool. I'll just um, click at this point. Click. Then click at this point and hold while dragging click at this point click down and close the ship so i go to and pick my direct selection tool i want to make some adjustments just to bring this out and if you if you take notes let me zoom this in if you take notes you see that there is a slight curve right here i can increase i can increase the curve just click on that point and just bring it in a little bit more. Selection tool. I'll just adjust that. Direct selection. Select the shape. Just move it in a bit. Drag this point. I'll just keep adjusting till I'm satisfied. So if I'm okay with this, I can change this to go to swatches change this to paper and send this to back and I use my arrow key just to move it up a little bit I go to my effects drop shadow distance zero I can leave that at 75 the size I'll make that three object knocks out shadow I uncheck that and I can add a little bit of noise and I click OK. Then I go back to my effects and click on multiply. So once I have that uh, done, I can take this in a little bit. 
take this in a little bit I pick my uh, direction selection tool just pick this down so I have that basically ready for my um, effect so I control C control V to paste to bring it down here and I can flip it and I shift this down and I send to back so basically you see that that effect has been created I can keep adjusting it till I'm satisfied I can bring this in a little bit just to kind of accentuate that effect a little bit more I shift this in by using um, my up arrow key I can do that here too I move this in I move this in down arrow to move it in so basically you can see that effect has been uh, created and we see that it looks bent from the top and the bottom end so you can actually use this shadow you can reuse it at uh, different points in time for example this shadow is on its own layer i can just move it out i can use it somewhere else i can for example create uh, another frame maybe a frame as this tall i give it a color in this case i'm going to use uh, the, the cyan make that uh, 20 percent i bring in the shadow can just uh, drag to pull it just drag and pull it so you can see as easy as that if you take a close look you see you see that there is a bend here I can uh, hide that effect that uh, slight looking line I can hide that that um, uh, artifact by just uh, clicking on isolate blending so that hides or takes that out so as easy as that I have used that uh, effect that I the shadow effect I created for that one to use on this one so you see that it's quite easy to create all right that concludes today's tutorial i hope you, you learned something don't forget to share like and subscribe and i will appreciate that if you have any questions any tutorial that you would want to see don't uh, hesitate to put the question down in the comment section do take care and catch you in the next one